1934, a camp was set up on the western edge of Elmhurst to provide work to use during the hard times of the Depression. Let's explore the history of Civilian Conservation Corps Camp Elmhurst. I'm Dan Lund, Curator of Collections at the Elmhurst History Museum, and you're watching Elmhurst History in Focus. The Great Depression affected almost every nation on the globe in the 1930s, and Elmhurst was not untouched by economic hardship. The city had enjoyed a period of booming growth in the 1920s, but with the downturn in economic fortunes, residential development had stalled. Folks were losing their jobs, and farmers were struggling to make ends meet. Community chests ran dry, and unemployment was on the rise, a scene that repeated itself in municipalities across the country. The city of Elmhurst took several measures at the local level to alleviate the stresses of the Depression, including the establishment of the Elmhurst Welfare Relief Committee. The city also applied and received grant money from several New Deal federal programs to maintain infrastructure throughout the decade. DuPage County officials also welcomed federal assistance, leading to the establishment of a Civilian Conservation Corps camp in Elmhurst. CCC Company 2602 arrived at Camp Elmhurst on August 10, 1934, with the assigned goal of improving the new Route 54 Parkway. The Civilian Conservation Corps, or the CCC, is regarded as one of the most successful New Deal programs to emerge from the flurry of federal aid projects during the Depression. The aim of the program was to provide labor to the unemployed, undertaking conservation work, infrastructure improvement, and landscape beautification projects. And there was plenty to go around for those that enlisted for a six-month term with the CCC. Located on Villa Avenue, just south of North Avenue, the company of more than 200 men was assigned to improve the new Route 54 right-of-way south of Roosevelt Road. This included tree planting, bridge building, and general landscaping. It was also the job of the corpsman to build the camp itself, which was comprised of about a dozen buildings. Most of the men of Camp Elmhurst were Chicago area locals, but the company was made up of enlistees from all over the Midwest. To make the best of their new home, the company hosted several community dances and took part in local parades. Camp Elmhurst hosted an open house in April 1935, which demonstrated how both the CCC camp operated and the importance of the work that was being conducted by the program. After a year of work on the Route 54 Parkway project, Camp Elmhurst was abruptly closed without reason in August 1935. The Parkway project was eventually delegated to other DuPage County camps in St. Charles and Fullersburg Woods. The latter camp was also tasked with conducting conservation work on the old Growey Mill, which still stands today as a museum in Oak Brook. While Camp Elmhurst was hastily disassembled, the results of the CCC work remain in the trees that still stand to this day along Route 83. The program as a whole was brought to a close in 1942 due to the escalating war effort, but Roosevelt's Tree Army, as the CCC was called, left a legacy of conservation that still can be seen throughout the United States. Thanks for joining us for this Elmhurst History webcast. Check out our website at elmhursthistory.org for more information.